one of the things that we've always talked about since day one in introducing Oracle Jet was how modular it is. And in when you're trying to look at the different things that you can plug in and out of, of the Jet framework, one of the most obvious is the UI components. Now Jet comes with a huge collection of, of UI components. I mean, there's easily um, you know, 80, little over 80 some odd different UI components. You've got quite a few different types of uh, form components. You've got uh, data visualization components with all the different kinds of charts and graphs and so forth. Data collections with your grids and your tables and list views and so forth as you would expect. And also quite a few different kinds of layouts. So accordions, collapsibles, navigational lists, those types of things. But there's, you know, no matter how many different types of UI components you come out with, there's always going to be something that somebody else needs in their app. And maybe it's something that's just very specific and, and we wouldn't actually really ever think about putting it into the toolkit, which is really designed to try and meet the higher needs of, of you know, the largest number of applications as possible versus really specific stuff. But one of the things that we took into, into account with the original design was that we wrapped all of the, the JET components, the UI components, as jQuery UI widgets. And that's really, that was done on purpose. I mean, there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of jQuery UI widgets out there today. And while we talk about that, uh, we really haven't ever showed exactly how easy it is to go out and grab one of these jQuery UI components. So I thought I'd talk about that today. So one of the things in, in looking at um, a lot of these different types of components that we have, one that has been asked for in the past and we've never added it into the framework is a calendar component. And yeah, we, you know, we have quite a few, we've got your date picker and there's tons of different options you can do with date pickers to show multiple months and that kind of stuff, but we haven't really set up a real calendar type component and, and probably won't. Uh, they're pretty, pretty specific in when they're, where they're needed and so forth. But that doesn't mean that you can't go out and grab one. So I did a really quick uh, just Google search for jQuery UI calendar. And of course, there's the date picker, which we already have one of those. We don't need to worry about that. But the first one that comes to the list is this full calendar. So I, I'm just picking one. I had never worked with this one before, and, and I decided to give it a try. And it worked really well for me. So most jQuery UI components should work just as easily as this one. Of course, your mileage will vary as you try it out. So let's give this one a go. I'm going to uh, start out with NetBeans again, and I've simply gone in and said new project under samples and grab the, the Jet Quick Start Basic. So that's, that's where this one sits right now. It's just brand new off the shelf uh, Quick Start. And you'll see we've got our view model in our view. And what I wanted to do was grab the home page, the home um, OJ module. So I've got the HTML and the JavaScript for that module. And of course, when we run this, uh, just so you can see it running, it's simply the basic quick start that we've shown in a bunch of different videos and, and you've seen it in a lot of different ways. Clicking on things changes the, the middle content. So we're going to deal with this home content area. If I come back over to NetBeans really quick and let's, let's take a look at um, actually the JET website and go back to the cookbook under form controls. There happens to be this one called combinations, which is a page that just lists out all of the different form controls. I'm going to add those in. I'm just coming down to the HTML editor and I'm going to copy all of what's here. This is all the, uh, the HTML that would add that page. So I'm just going to copy all of that into the HTML of my NetBeans page. And I'm going to drop all that out and put that in there. Whoops, it didn't copy. Let's go back and try this again. And copy. There we go. A little bit better. And let's format that up really quick. So just dropping that in, and I need to actually dra grab the H tier or the JavaScript as well. So let's scroll down a little ways on that. Grab the JavaScript, which is I need to grab everything after the knockout. And we will grab all the way down to here. Now, if you've had, uh, you have questions on how to work with actual OJ module and how to copy out of the cookbook and so forth for this, uh, there are quite a few different videos that Gerchen Vilenga has done on the internet about working with OJ module and I strongly recommend you take a look at what he's provided uh, out on the uh, 
YouTube channel. The JET has a YouTube channel as well. So the JavaScript extension toolkit under um, on uh, YouTube. Just do a search for Oracle JET, and you will find it. So let's grab also these little things, these uh, variables that go in here. I'm going to change the this over to a self, just so it looks the same in my view model. And again, clean it up. Okay, so we've copy and pasted all of that over. Let's save that. It's already running, so we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Now when it comes up, there it is. And I can disable all the controls, and I can make them all read-only, just as it was working exactly the same in the cookbook. So that shows all the different components and how easy and quickly you can lay them out. We're going to go into this HTML, and we're going to look at the very first one up here, which um, in this section it has a bunch of different OJ Flex groups, and it's just for layout, is all that is. And so I'm going to copy the first one and add in a, a new one. So it has the same layout. That's basically what I'm, the reason I'm copying all of this. And I'm going to use this full calendar component. Well, full calendar isn't going to be an input. It's going to be, um, if I look at their docs, which I'll show in a second, it comes off of a div, not of an input component. So I'm going to just change this over to a div and close it. And also, it's not going to have the same uh, options in it, of course. So I am going to take value and these other things out of here. And it's going to leave us with simply an OJ component, and the component name is OJ input text right now. I'm going to change up a few of these things. I'm going to change the ID of this to be cal instead of input text. And the rest of it we should leave alone. So let's run, let's see, if we're going to leave that where it is for right now. Let's go back to the HTML. Now let's go take a look at full calendar. So full calendar is just this. It's, it's, just, it's a calendar that shows you the whole, uh, everything that you've got in there. Uh, how to download it. If we look at the download page, it tells you that you can install it with Bower, but it's also got some really nice CDN capabilities. So let's work with that. Let's take um, the CDN for the calendar, and we're going to take this and we're going to add it to our require call. So I'm going to take a look at main.js, which is where my require config is. And I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to call it full calendar. And the path that we're going to put it into is that CDN. So we're going to tell it to go look at that CDN. Now, when I looked at this last time, it told me that it also needed moment. Uh, yeah, it needs moment in order, moment.js. So we're going to take a look at that. Now, I did kind of cheat ahead of time here, and I went out and found it also on the CDN. So we're going to grab that. And back in our require.js, we're going to add moment. And again, we're just going to point off to the CDN on that one. So that should be as much as we need there. Now back in the home JS, just as when we added in like switch and slider and so forth here, I'm just going to add in a reference to full calendar. Just as I would for any other JET component. And then in the HTML, I'm going to change this to say full calendar. That's it. Um, now, there's one other thing that we do that I wanted to make sure. It's, it's kind of undocumented, so we'll kind of point this out. You could run with this right here, and, and it would run, actually, and I could just hit save, and it would run. The OJ component uh, is a custom binding. It's a custom knockout binding. It happens to be derived off of... Um, uh, it, it does some special things with JET components. Specifically, it adds some... Um, or it looks for some different style classes that are specific to JET components themselves. So when you're using a third-party component or a third-party jQuery UI component, it's actually better, instead of using OJ component, to just use jQuery UI. And that is actually just an alias underneath the... Um, for the jQuery component one. But the style classing and stuff that we use in um, inside of the JET components actually looks for OJ components. So you're kind of getting sneaky 
by just using jQuery UI and that bypasses some of those jet component specific style classes and you can get away with it. So let's do that. It's going to look kind of odd I believe if I'm uh, correct when I save this. I'm going to pop it over there and let's hide that for a second. Go back over here. Now when this loads up, unless it threw an error, oop, it threw an error on me. What didn't it find? Hmm. Where did I screw up? Okay, there's always something. At least I proved that I'm actually doing this in live code. Let's look here. Aha, there we go. A typo. Full calendar. Instead of dir, it's dar. So we'll save that again. Hopefully we won't get any error messages down here this time. And sure enough, it looks ugly, doesn't it? Okay, so that is actually because we didn't put the CSS in. So if we go back to the um, the site, you will see that they actually provide their own CSS. Again, under a nice CDN. So we're going to grab this here. And we're just going to go back to our index.html and grab in underneath here. We will just make a copy of our existing override CSS and right after that, so we'll put it in last so that it makes sure we, if it wants to take control of something, it can. And we'll paste that over. Now when we save and we go back and look at this page, there you go. You have a fully functioning calendar from full calendar. So it really is that simple to just quickly add it in. But wait, okay, so that's great. It all looks, it dropped in there, it looks really nice, but what about if it has things like in its docs here? Let's take a look at the doc. This is the basic usage of their docs. And it says that you would use div, id, calendar, and then they go in and use the jQuery way of doing things. And they've got all these different options. Well, let's just take their options and use them exactly as we would with any other JET component. So in the HTML page where we've got here, inside of the binding, we'll just add weekends equals false and hit save, close it out, and you'll now see when that calendar comes back up, there aren't any weekends on it, it cut them off. So it works exactly the same. You can still go back to their documentation, you can look at how they've got things set up, They've got a callback on the uh, called day click, and they've added a callback function onto that. We can do the exact same thing very easily. Just add that in and say, okay, right after this, we want to do a day click, and we're going to have it do a call a function with an alert. That's fine. We'll save that and once again. Go back and look. Now the one thing is, is since we're actually doing this inside of Jet, we don't have to put the functions right there inside of our thing. Now this is going to work. But I could just as easily use a, a observable function there, you know, it's from the knockout ver uh, view model, and just say day click equals some uh, value that would be consistent with knockout. So you know, my my handler or whatever we would normally do for for other things, and then you call that out inside of your your view model. So it's really really easy to drop in jQuery UI components and put them into the Jet website or into your Jet-based application, rather, and make them run. Uh, of course, in this particular case, if you wanted to style it so that it looked, I mean, it looks pretty darn close now, but if you wanted to style it up, then you would actually change the CSS for the full calendar app. You wouldn't mess around with the Jet CSS. But um, that is how easy it is that you can start mixing and matching different functionality. If you don't find it in Jet, Jet's modular. Use as little or as much as you want. Go out on the jQuery UI site and just start looking for some different plugins. Hope that helps somebody down the road find uh, an extra UI piece that we don't have that they want. So, Of course, we always ask that you do let us know if there's certain UI components that, you're, that you don't see in Jet. Give us a shout on uh, the community forum or on Twitter at Oracle Jet and we'll be glad to hear what it is you're looking for and take that into consideration. But if we can't find it or you can't get it to you in time, out and find something on jQuery UI. Thanks for listening.